wanted to get an idea about what may have caused this to happen. So we sent Nefertiti Jacquez out to get some answers. Nefertiti, what did you find? Well, all night I've been digging into the past of the contractor who was hired to do the demolition here and the man who operated the crane, and I've learned both have criminal records. Philadelphia's licenses and inspections website clearly states there should have been five inspections from the moment this permit was issued to STB Investments in February. STB was responsible for the demolition. These records show there were no existing violations and the contractor doing the work had a valid license. But tonight we're learning the contractor, Griffin Campbell, who was hired to demolish the building at 22nd and Market Street, has a criminal record. This is an exclusive mugshot of Campbell obtained by NBC10. Court records show he He's been arrested for theft and insurance fraud. They also revealed he filed for Chapter 13 bankruptcy protection in March and owes thousands in unpaid city business taxes and state and federal taxes. But when we passed by the Butler Street address listed for his company, a woman answered. We're looking for Griffin Campbell. Got no comment. He's sorry for everything that happened, but no comment. Meantime, sources close to this investigation tell us this man, Sean Ben's shop, was the crane operator on site this morning. They say Ben's shop, who's a convicted felon and who also also reports himself as self-employed is currently being questioned about what happened leading up to the deadly collapse. As for the five inspections, how many inspections should have been done, and what were those inspections to be? Commissioner, okay. again, it's uh, the matter is still under investigation, and we're taking a look at all inspections that were done. Officials with LNI didn't want to go into any detail about the building that collapsed. Well, I understand it's still under investigation, but what inspections routinely would go? Uh, I mean, are there inspections that you were supposed to do once that permit has been pulled to follow that work? We'll, we'll answer that in an appropriate time. We have an active investigation going on. Now, we also tried to contact the property owner who is based out of New York but has a local office here. However, we never heard back. We are live in Center City tonight. Nefertiti Jacquez, NBC 10 News.